Hello, good day. My name is Chris Njoku. I want to quickly show us how to use uh, the header and footer on Microsoft Word using this document. As you can see, let me scroll through so that this document will be very clear to us. There is no header, no footer, just the document itself. So, I want to insert header or footer in the one to show us how the header and footer works. Probably you have seen several documents where at the bottom of each page you see numbers written to signify the page number. Sometimes it could be names, sometimes it could just be the title of the book. That is to show um, the name of the book as the reader is moving from page to page. Just a reminder. So um, headers and footers um, do several jobs. It could be the job of a reminder to tell you the page where you are part time, or it could be to remind you of the author's name or the title of the book. In some cases, it could just be the chapter title so oh, <coughs> this is the first page of this book and so to use the footer here now quickly click on insert and then look to your top right you see footer then you click on the drop down it opens these are varieties of footer and uh, of footers that are available for best experience, I advise you hover your mouse pointer, your cursor, for a few seconds on each one so that you know what they stand for. Look at this very funny saying blank footer, meaning you can type into it. Probably you don't want to use numbers for it. You have something in mind that you want to use it for. This is another one. It's a blank three columns where you have three things in mind to be there. One could be the title of the book, the second one could be the chapter, and then the last one could be the number. So these are just designs. These are just designs. And so if you, the one you, you might want to go for is not here. You can see this one is just centered page number in coordinating theme color. So this is it. You can click this drop down for it to move up, and then you see other types of header and footer. Can see this this one say shaded page number with author name meaning the page number is there and then the author's name so these are just some of the little ways you can use header and footer let's just say we'll click on one and then fill it and see how it looks like this is simple footer with document type to an author name so let's click this as i mean this is what we want to use now and so <coughs> the document name you just double click on it and then you type what you want let's just say um this is a file i prepared for my advanced excel class so let's just say excel v lookup fundamentals so this is for that and then for the author's name you just double click and then you type what you want. So this is it. If you can see a cell V lookup fundamental and then Chris. This is just for this kind of her footer. And so if you are done you double click on the document itself on the center and so your footer is ready this is it and this is how it looks if this is not what you have in mind you quickly um also go back to the insert and then you click on footer look for what you want probably you just need page number alone 
you can see pay, uh, page number right aligned footer meaning it's aligned to the right you click on it and so you can see the page number is showing here now page one of 15. that is what it means here now page one and then the total number of page is 15. so this is just how it is if you're done you double click on the document itself what you want is what will be shown to you be sure to move around and see what you want and then if you don't want footer on your document like it is now you can just click remove footer if you also want to edit your footer this is what you click on and then you edit it as you want probably you don't want the word page to appear there and then you quickly edit it to what you want so that is just how to edit your footer you can see i've edited it now it's looking empty if you are done is either you close from here or you double click on the document you click close here you see we're done with that if you also want to do something else just have it in mind that what you need to do to navigate to that place is for you to click on the insert tab and then you click on footer so that is for footer for header same thing you can click on it here and then you do what we have just done for footer the difference for header is that header means it's located at the top footer means it's located at the bottom so there is no much to talk about um header because we have already explained everything using footer the only difference is that if you are doing header it will just appear at the top let's assume we want to use the header now let's click on this document title as you can see it will now be located at the top instead of the bottom so this is just all you need to know about header and footer thank you